Ever wondered how India, one of the world's most populous nations, is making giant leaps in the realm of space exploration? Let's take a journey through time and space to see how this all began. Back in the year of 1962, the Indian National Committee for Space Research was founded, marking the humble beginnings of what would become a rapidly advancing aerospace contender. Over the years, India's space program has been nothing short of a thrilling odyssey, filled with numerous milestones that have captured the world's attention. The year 2008 was a turning point as India sent its first lunar probe to orbit the moon. This mission, Chandrayaan-1, not only made India the fourth country to plant its flag on the moon, but it also discovered water molecules on the lunar surface, triggering a renewed global interest in moon exploration. Fast forward to 2014, India became the first Asian nation to reach Mars, with the successful orbit insertion of its Mars Orbiter mission. This mission demonstrated India's capability to perform complex maneuvers and the ability to develop advanced space technology on a shoestring budget. Then in 2017, India set a world record by launching 104 satellites in a single mission, showcasing the country's prowess in multi-satellite deployment. The Indian Space Research Organization, or ISRO, has been the driving force behind this journey, continually pushing the boundaries of what's possible. With its unique blend of courage, innovation, and frugality, ISRO is not just reaching for the stars but also inspiring a new generation of space enthusiasts and scientists. And as we look towards the future, there's no doubt that ISRO will continue to make giant leaps in the realm of space exploration. One of ISRO's most ambitious projects in recent years has been the Chandrayaan-3 mission. This mission, launched in July 2023, is India's bold second attempt to achieve a soft landing on the moon's south pole. If successful, India would be the fourth nation to accomplish such a feat, standing alongside Russia, the United States, and China. The Chandrayaan-3 mission is a testament to India's determination and resilience in the realm of space exploration. After the disappointment of the Chandrayaan-2 mission in 2019, the Indian Space Research Organization, or ISRO, analyzed the data, learned from the failure and set its sights on a new target. The mission spacecraft, launched from the Satish Dhawan Space Center, is currently on a 40-day journey to the moon. Its components include a lander module named Vikram, a Sanskrit word meaning valor, and a rover named Pragyan, translating to wisdom in Sanskrit. These two will work in tandem to achieve the mission's objectives. Once Vikram has achieved a soft landing, which is scheduled between August 23rd and 24th, Pragyan will roll out and begin its exploration. The rover's mission life is one lunar day, or 14 Earth days, during which it will gather images and scientific data on the moon's composition. The Chandrayaan-3 mission also highlights India's frugal space engineering. With a price tag of $74.6 million, it's significantly cheaper than similar missions by other countries. This cost-effectiveness is largely due to India's ability to adapt existing space technology and its pool of highly skilled engineers. The journey of Chandrayaan-3, from its launch to its current status, is a story of resilience, ambition, and ingenuity. It reminds us that even in the face of failure, the pursuit of knowledge and exploration must continue. With the Chandrayaan-3 mission, India aims to join an exclusive club of nations that have achieved a lunar landing. But the Chandrayaan-3 mission is just one piece of a much larger puzzle. Indeed, India's space program helmed by the Indian Space Research Organization, or ISRO, is not about to slow down. The future is teeming with ambitious projects and plans that are set to propel India further into the cosmos. One such project is the Gaganyaan mission. This is India's first manned mission, aiming to launch Indian astronauts or Gaganauts into Earth's orbit. Slated for next year, the Gaganyaan mission is a testament to India's growing capabilities in space exploration. It is a leap from sending probes and satellites to sending humans, marking a significant milestone in the nation's space odyssey. Beyond exploratory missions, India is also focusing on the commercial side of space. Currently, India has only a 2% share of the global commercial space market. However, it is actively working to increase this share by offering to send private payloads into orbit at a fraction of the cost of competitors. This move not only demonstrates India's competitive edge, but also its ability to adapt and thrive in the rapidly evolving space industry. The secret to India's competitive prowess lies in its frugal space engineering. India has managed to keep costs low by adapting existing space technology and leveraging its abundance of highly skilled, yet comparatively cheap, engineers. 
This cost-effective approach has allowed the nation to undertake missions at a fraction of the cost of other spacefaring nations, while still achieving remarkable results. Going forward, India's space program is set to continue growing in size and momentum. With each successful mission, it inches closer to the milestones set by global space powers, such as Russia, the United States, and China. As we look to the future, it's clear that India's space program is not just about reaching new frontiers in space. It's also about inspiring a nation, fostering innovation, and demonstrating to the world that great things can be achieved with ingenuity and determination, even on a budget. With its eyes firmly set on the stars, India's space program continues to reach for new heights. In the span of just a few decades, India has transformed from a space novice to a formidable player in the global aerospace arena. Its moon mission, Chandrayaan-3, a testament to its frugal space engineering, has successfully entered lunar orbit. This is India's second attempt at a lunar landing, an achievement that only Russia, the United States and China have accomplished to date. The mission, carrying a lander named Vikram and a rover named Pragyan, is set to touch down on the moon's little explored South Pole, a testament to India's increasing space prowess. Beyond this, India's future in space exploration looks promising, with plans for a manned mission into Earth's orbit and a drive to increase its share in the global commercial space market. India is certainly reaching for the stars. As we await the outcome of the Chandrayaan-3 mission, one thing is clear. India's space journey has just begun, and the sky is not the limit.